The ignition sequence has begun it. A total of six, five, four, three, two, one, and zero to the skies. There will be a liftoff. What's up, everyone? Just take a look at this from Jim Rickards, who is now filming on location in Nevada. The price of gold has just reached a new all-time high, which is a favorable time for the gold mine to be located. Gold is behaving in a certain way. Right now, I am watching one of the most impressive videos that I have ever seen on the future of cryptocurrency. Despite the fact that I have stated this on this channel previously, it never fails to happen when I go to. There is a football game between Alabama and Georgia this weekend, and I will go watch it with my friends when I go to like this weekend. In addition, whenever someone approaches me at a time when the cryptocurrency market is experiencing a decline, they will ask me, well, do you think that this is a good time to invest in cryptocurrency? Then, however, when the market is up, they are going to come to me, and the same individual is going to come to me, and they are going to say that it is more like what app should I download in order to purchase it. Therefore, all of these individuals are conditioned because CNBC does this, and they are all programmed to purchase when there is a frenzy, which is the exact incorrect time to buy. Due to the fact that we have lived in this wall for two to three years, I have been purchasing and amassing items ever since. During this time, you will accumulate. However, here is the crux of the matter, and this is the point that my friends do not comprehend. And despite my best efforts, nobody seems to be paying attention to what I have to say. They are only going to make an investment when they observe an increase in the prices. Simply put, it is what I have discovered. Thus, I do not make an effort to tell my pals. To be honest, I don't talk about cryptocurrency too often with my friends, but I will tell you this. In light of the fact that this is the primary focus of this video, this market is being held back by the absence of regulations. Nevertheless, once you have it, and you are going to get it, once you get it, all of that risk that you took was the true risk that you took when there were no regulations. Where the true danger lies is in that area. In that particular location, you and I have been playing. However, when they finally succeed, when that damn thing finally breaks, we also received the first bill from Congress, which is a set of regulations. In this video, everything is very similar to Donkey Kong. In comparison to anything else, this video right here is the best example of it. Watch this out. I am going to have a hard time giving an accurate representation of the amount of capital that is behind this regulatory debt. Mostly due to the fact that there are trillions upon trillions of money already sitting on the sidelines. The only thing that needs to be clarified is that an entire cryptocurrency ecosystem is approximately 2.5 trillion. There is a significant possibility that the infrastructure of the capital markets will undergo a significant transition that will have an impact on all different kinds of organizations throughout the value chain. That is correct. Deposits in banks, equities, and bonds. That's right, $400 trillion. Do you agree that this is not going to happen easily or quickly? Take into consideration the possibility of how we can go beyond, and by a significant margin, beyond the $1 trillion. I would begin by stating that the private asset space is a market that is worth $290 trillion all over the world. Wow. On the other hand, I won't suggest that all of this money is moving into cryptocurrency. However, a significant portion of it will be utilized in cryptography. We are unquestionably at the fourth turning, which is something that is quite simple to comprehend. We are currently living in a period of profound transformation. We are currently living in a period of upheaval and disorder. In five years, the world will be very different from what it is today because of the way the world is going to be. We are going to go through what is essentially a time warp because of this, with the new technologies that we are going to go through. It is going to be a whole different world for us. In my perspective, the year 24 is a year that is quite significant. I would say that they are all spaces that are undergoing a major transformation, and I would say that it is a profound transformation that, when you look at the next 5, 10, or 15 year trajectory going ahead, especially when you look at the sectors that are included within that digital infrastructure. Today, when we look back 10 years from now, we will look at 2024 and possibly 2023 as really crucial foundation years for a big investment trip in these spaces. These are the years that investment institutions and governments in this case that make the proper judgments in these two, in my opinion, critical years, 23, 23, and 24. I believe that when we look back in a decade from now, we will be extremely pleased with what we have accomplished. I am going to agree with him on this point. The video that Ripple released in order to promote Swell is currently being re-released by the company. You won't want to pass up the opportunity to be with us in Miami on October 15th and 16th. This year's event, which will take place at the renowned Fina Forum in Miami, is planned to provide attendees with unparalleled possibilities for networking and special insights. That is the case. The EGRAG cryptocurrency XRP will do it with a potential target of $13, and the pattern will have a potential target of $13. It's a major deal. I enjoy the way that phrase sounds. I am also pleased with the way this chart appears. Take a look at this one. This is the reason I've been here since 2013, or one of the many reasons I've been here since then. I'm simply going to play you the intro since this is why I've been here. I was present, and I witnessed it. In addition, that was before we had any of the things that we have now. 
As of the year 2020, we were in the midst of a legal dispute nonetheless. All that you see on this chart up to now is made possible by the absence of any regulations, any actual infrastructure in this area, and nothing else. In each and every bull market, the price of XRP has challenged this upward sloping trend line on the monthly time frame. I do believe that this trend line will be tested once more in the remaining months of this year, as well as in the year 2000. When you take into consideration where XRP was and where it is going, that is a wonderful thing right there. In other words, I couldn't be more optimistic. It is time to move on to the tapes of Gary Gensler. This guy got his rear end kicked in during those hearings that took place yesterday, and it came from members of his own party as well. Regards, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Let's say, Mr. Gensler, that I were to sell you a Yankee ticket and tell you that the Yankee ticket has the potential to increase in value, and that it might be resold on the secondary market at a profit. As is the case with all sports tickets, let's say that the money made from the sale of the Yankee ticket is used to pay for the Yankee game. In other words, the Yankee ticket is being sold to you. Do you consider me to be making an unregistered security offer since I am getting into an investment contract with you on your behalf? The inquiry is very much appreciated. Although I am not aware of all the facts, positions, and serves, I do not believe that this is the case. Am I correct in saying that? It is clear to me. I haven't been to a Yankees game in quite some time, but that's probably because. A warm welcome awaits you during our Yankee game. The state of New York is where I formerly resided, and it is also where all three of my girls were born. Consequently, in the case of Stoner Cats, the developers were selling a non-fungible token NFT that provided access to an animated web series. There are legal differences between purchasing a Yankee ticket, which provides you with the opportunity to attend a Yankee game, and purchasing an NFT, which provides you with the opportunity to experience an animated web series. These differences are significant from the perspective of federal securities laws. One more time, I do not wish to comment on any particular individual. However, it was a settlement, and it is a conflict with the FEDA. The case is not currently being litigated. Commenting on it is an option. However, the question that needs to be answered is how something is offered and sold is it put up for sale as an investment contract? Are those who are interested in a shared enterprise hoping to make profits depending on the efforts of other people to participate? This is a definition that I am familiar with. By doing so, you are evading the question. I appreciate it, Mr. They gave Gary Gensler the impression that he was an idiot on multiple occasions. Tom Emmer is shown here. I am grateful to you. It is true, Chair Gensler, that leadership originates from the highest levels. The top is a significant factor, yet leadership can originate from a variety of sources. The answer is yes, sir, and the answer is yes. If you are in charge of the Securities and Exchange Commission CC, it would appear that you anticipate political loyalty, not only from those who have been appointed to political positions, but also from the civil servants that you have hired. That is correct, isn't it? The statement is not accurate, sir. To put it simply, sir, that is yet another instance of the truth being distorted on purpose. Emails that were sent between you and your current Director of Training and Markets have been seized by the House. In addition to conducting an interview with you, he followed up with an email to reassure you, sir, that he shared your political beliefs. It would appear that you anticipate political allegiance from the individuals that you hire to work as civil servants at the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC. Both the manner in which you hire and the culture that you demand from your employees will encourage them to remain loyal to you. The law and the mission of the Securities and Exchange Commission are both above them. This takes us to the debt box case in Utah, where your solicitors, who had most likely heard your anti-crypto rhetoric, which is not founded in law, went out and purposefully lied to a court in order to carry out the directives from their chair to prosecute cryptocurrency companies. What happened? Chair Gensler, are you aware of any other instances in the past in which the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC has been penalized by a court for making materially false statements? To begin, if I may mention that when we hire people, we hire when we hire. No, I'm trying to recapture my time, sir. The answer to that question is no because it has never taken place in the past. But allow me to ask you one more question. Do you feel even a little bit embarrassed by the fact that we are discussing this topic today? To tell you the truth, we told the judge that the manner in which the issues in that case were handled was flawed. The process of reclaiming my time. The situation involving